Hey, what is going on, everyone? Welcome to another TGI Blog Friday. Yes, we have another blog to go over today. Also, yes, I am back after my medical operation from yesterday. I made it through that, although I'm still feeling a bit uh, not 100%, so uh, my videos over the next few days could be a bit shaky. Also, I... <laughs> have my second COVID vaccination shot coming on Monday, so I heard that that's actually worse than the first one, so that might kick my ass too. So uh, bear with me over the next couple of days or so, or the next uh, the half of the week, I suppose, uh, so I can get through that, and then hopefully we'll be back to our regular schedule on the other end of that. But we still have quite a bit to talk about today. We have obviously the fresh blog to talk about, but there's some stuff from yesterday and some social media stuff that I want to go over in this video as well. So without further do guys uh, let's get the show started all right and here we are with the blog post here titled the power of orange with yellow jacket and Maria Hill in the background I'm not uh, too enthused already uh, let's scroll down and see what we have so ability materials updates as Strike's roster has increased, so has the need for more ability materials to power up your characters. To help you earn more T4 ability materials, we'll be updating the rewards and for Raids and Alliance War. Depending on your Alliance's activity level, you should be earning 60 to 190 more T4 abilities per season. Okay, so this has to do with the Raid and War Season payouts then? That's what it sounds like. Here are the updates that are on the way. Yeah, there we go. Season rank reward. So we'll include 100% of all raid part, blah, blah, blah. Uh, everyone outside of the top 5% will earn more T4s. Outside of every, everyone outside of the top 5%. So they're improving it for the people at the bottom, it seems like that. The end result will be additional 5 to 40 more T4 ability materials per season. That doesn't sound like a lot. Well, I mean, we'll have to wait and see what it actually looks like. On the Alliance War side, rank rewards will now include 100% of all Alliance War participants and everyone outside the top 10% will earn more T4 ability materials. The Alliance War updates will result in 20 to 50 additional T4s per season. Okay, so that's... Yeah, I mean... My Alliance, I guess, usually ranks uh, somewhere in the top 10%, I think. I don't, I don't know. So we'll have to see when we actually see it live to get a better picture of like how much individually we're, we're making per per uh per raid season and war season i have a feeling that this is to do with level 85 uh going up now whether or not we're getting a new ability material when the level cap goes up or if we're just gonna have more uh t4s required for the next step for the next abilities i'm not sure obviously they're doing this for a reason though ultimate 7 and doom 1 we've also updated the raid completion rewards all T4 abilities rewards now match those of the top damage contributor rewards, rewarding 30 to 90 additional T4 materials per season. Okay, interesting. Um, not much to say there, really, but other than that, they're probably planning something, and there's probably a reason for that. Gamma Raid Updates. So we kind of knew this. I thought they said this before. Maybe this is in the data mine. Uh, Heroes for Hire team is already making an impact in a <laughs> All right, so Heroes for Hire... Uh, starting their next run, any Gamma 3 or 4 require the Defender's trait will now also allow the Heroes for Hire. This is an additive update and no trait restrictions will be changed. So they're not getting rid of Defenders, they're just adding Heroes for Hire to all of the ones that say Defenders. That's just in the middle section, I'm pretty sure, where it says Defenders, Mercs, and Defenders, Hydra, if I'm not mistaken. I think they need to go further, they need to add way more. I hate the Gamma raid so, so, so much, because... The traits are so outdated. Why can't they just do many changes at the same time? You know, when, when did they do the PIM tag change? That was like, I don't know, like four or five, six months ago? I have no idea. But like, why Why do they wait so long and just change one team? Why can't they do more at the same time? Why? I don't get it. Upcoming blitzes. Uh, we have a Yellow Jacket Blitz. So if you do need uh, Yellow Jacket Shards still for Jubilee, you'll want to get in on this. July the 26th, that's uh, going to be on Monday, of course. And then on Thursday, we have Maria Hills, the first uh, Blitz for Maria Hill. So this kind of sucks for a few reasons. For my, uh, my, my, baby, my baby account, you know, I have no chance in hell 
then I'm probably going to get Maria Hill unlocked because she's 100 shards, and I'm, I'm unlikely to get any more than a 15, maybe even a 5 shard payout. So I'll get maybe a total of maximum 70 shards over two blitzes. So this is really unfortunate that she's a 100 shard blitz. You know, for those of you who have the higher TCPs, like my main account, you know, I should be able to get 100 shards, and I'm going to try and push as hard as I can, but I do feel bad for others who, you know, don't have the ability to accumulate these many shards because it's really hard because, you know, as time goes on, more teams and more characters come out and it makes it even more harder for people to keep up or even to move out of their bracket. If you're someone who normally gets 45 shards or 30 or 25 shards, you know, or one of those two, you know, it's really hard to step into that next bracket because everyone's kind of get going up at the same time. So... Best of luck on the Maria Hill Blitz. This is, again, I not my my best uh, solution here, uh, but it is okay for my account. But I don't, uh, I, I don't envy having to do eight rotations every single day, which is what exactly I have to do in order to get that 1%. I, need to, I can't miss a single rotation, so I have to do eight rotations every single day uh, in order to get that 100 shards, and uh, that's going to be a nightmare for me. Bonus and flash events. Black Bolt's coming back around. We kind of knew that already, I, I thought. <laughs> that was in the login calendar that we have i'm pretty sure it was on the blog post last week i thought and we have relic hunt coming around wow this was uh pretty balls of a blog post that's it okay so not nothing much too important just these ability materials upgrade good thing i have some other things to talk about which is what i thought that they were going to bring up today but i guess not so we'll start with uh the first one so we'll start with this post from facebook or well from social media rather uh so this showed Deadpool and death and I believe that in the post it said do you want more dead do you want more sites do you want more Deadpool do you want sites and Deadpool and this made some sort of uh, connection to a character or I, I think it's a character named Deathpool who apparently was data mined but I actually know very little about this I'm pretty sure it is Deadpool just death merged into Deadpool I asked my partner about this that's what I was told let me know in the comments down below if I'm just terribly wrong now whether or not this is a full-blown new character or not or a skin for Deadpool I'm not sure either way. I'm not too bothered. I, I don't know much about this character and uh, Deadpool's cool uh, But yeah, we'll we'll see I guess and so this leads me into the next one and that's gonna be this photo here Now this is the more important one. I thought they were gonna say something about this in today's blog post You see this was also revealed and there's four four characters here at the bottom you can see that they had the former character releases so these are all of the characters that have been released lately and they're pretty accurate here kestrel calling wing missing knight in that order phyla vel moon dragon adam warlock also in that order sharon carter cap san maria hill also released in that order so by that logic that we can tell that this next character down here is probably going to be the campaign event character and then we have three more photos now we can also, or some people are, are guessing that based on the nameplates here and the length of the nameplates that we might be able to guess some of this. So if you notice that the first and second character here kind of have a bit of a longer nameplate, whereas the third and fourth have a little bit less. But this third character has probably the smallest nameplate, and then we have this one here. So a lot of people are surmising that, you know, maybe this first one is that Deathpool character or the Mandarin. A lot of people have been suggesting that because the second one here, a lot of people are also also suggesting that this is Shang-Chi. Now, I knew that this was going to happen, or I'm pretty sure this is going to happen because we have the Shang-Chi movie coming out for the first week of September. So this patch very likely will be landing on, I would say... I, I would, you know, it could actually come as early as next week, but no, not next week, the week after. Uh, so Wednesday... Uh, August the 4th, I think that's when the patch could be. I think we moved on from uh, patches on Tuesday. Used, patches formerly, formerly used to be on Tuesday, but now they're on Wednesdays. So I think August the 4th could be a good date, and that could be leading up to this release of the Shang-Chi movie that we see here. Oops. And so this third and fourth character now... Based on the nameplate signs as well, some people are suggesting that the third is Cloak and the fourth is Dagger. The third is the smallest nameplate in terms of letter length, uh, but also that some people are saying this as well. Some long hair, uh, Dagger, uh, does, uh, Cloak has a hood here, which kind of suggests that this is a hood, and uh, the long hair here for Dagger. Now, we had Dagger data mined 
apparently as well. Uh, I don't know about Cloak. It's kind of weird though because in other uh, games that I have played with them in it, with Cloak and Dagger in it, they were actually just one character and they're often considered to be a duo in that sense. So if they are two separate characters in Marvel Strike Force, that's because um, Scopely and Boundless, they really want to squeeze you out and make money off of that. But realistically, I think it would have been a lot better to have them as a duo character. Not sure what's going to happen. Maybe it could be uh, Dagger summoning Cloak or some sort of mechanic like that. And uh, this is actually a completely separate character. Some were, were rumoring Sylvie from the... Uh, the Loki TV show. My bad if you haven't uh, uh, seen, I don't know what it was, episode two or three at this point, but is that a spoiler still? Maybe I should have said something. My bad. Uh, anyways, I think that this is probably Shang-Chi. I think that makes sense. The first one, I don't know. It could, it could be a hood with Deathpool. It could also be the Mandarin with long, he's, he's got long hair uh, back the way I think it is. It's like, it's hard to explain. I'd have to, I, I should have brought up a photo. Uh, but, you know, he's got like long, not quite dreadlocks, but you know, like that's basically what it looks like going backwards. Uh, so this could be long shoulder length hair here as well. Either way, I think that we're going to be seeing another mystic patch, or not another, a mystic patch. We've had the skill patch here with the secret Avengers, and then we've had, well, now we need the Mystic, and then we need the Bio, and maybe even the Tech Patch at some point going into the future. Uh, that's going to be a topic of another video because I do want to talk specifically about Bio. There is some stuff that I'm thinking about that's going to happen down the line in the not-so-distant future. Uh, but I think this very likely could be the Mystic Patch, at the very least Shang-Chi. If it's the Mandarin, uh, if it's Deathpool, could also be a Mystic-based character. Uh, Cloak and Dagger, not too sure. I'm not super familiar with their powers, with their abilities. Would they be a Mystic character? Please let me know in the comments down below. I I, I know very little about Cloak and Dagger. I never watched that uh, that TV show that came out a little while ago. Uh, don't read the comics on them. I, I know very little. I actually don't even know that much about Shang-Chi, but I do know a little bit because I've been looking it up because of the movie. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What are your predictions for these four characters? I guess I'm going to go and say... Um, you know, I, I would prefer to be the Mandarin. So even though we had this photo here about death and Deadpool, uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say Mandarin, Shang-Chi, I don't know, Cloak and Dagger, I, I don't, I'm not super bothered, but I just really hope that this is Shang-Chi. So let me know in the comments down below, what four characters do you want to be in those photos? Who do you think it might be? Let me know all of that. And I do want to say just very quickly here at the end, guys, you know, do take care of yourself. Make sure that you stay healthy, that you're, you know, because mine hasn't been all that great lately. And that's something that I'm going to be fixing over the next uh, little while. Like I said, I do have my COVID second vaccination on Monday, so probably going to feel like crap, but also my back and stuff physically I've just been not so great so I'm gonna try and work on that over the next little while so if things are a bit delayed on my side video and you know I apologize for that but I really need to you know take care of myself some as well so make sure you guys all do the same as well because you know you only have one of this body and uh, you know make sure that you're, you're you're doing well so that's how I'm gonna end the video here and of course as always guys stay safe and I'll see y'all later. Boylan signing out.